So yeah, that's my. Okay. You're really clever. You, you know, you, you, you got to know now my <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I just need to start with the first line again for for recording. When Swamiji formed the trust in UK, the the purpose was health for all, so that we can lead more happy and healthy life in the coming century, this century, and thereafter. And the stress is one of the biggest cause of ill health. It leads to ideas, which is irritable bowel syndrome, migraine, or even cancer. And also suppresses your immune system, which makes you more vulnerable to cold, flu, and COVID-19. All the medical treatment that trying to help you with the stress, stress-related condition are not really effective. People use stress buster technique to suppress the stress, stress, which works the other way around. A lot of people drink alcohol, deny the problem, taking drugs, overeating, smoking, trying to get rid of stress, but it has the opposite effect. So you have to do a feel good factor. Instead of this harmful technique, why not try one of the following? Take a nap, power nap for 30 to 40 minutes. It will recharge your battery. Express yourself artistically. Have a laugh. Be gentle to yourself. Do yoga, pranayam, asana, which you're doing every day anyway learning to fall in love with yourself and respect others and also yourself as well. Loving oneself is the first step towards loving others and being loved. Laughter plays a big part in promoting health to reduce stress. A good laugh can make your heart beat faster, increase blood pressure, and when you finish your laughter, it drops to lower rate than before. So laughter keeps the system firing on all the cylinder by exercising muscles, nerves, and organs. Endorphins are released from your brain, so your mood is improved. It helps to increase your immune system as well. Also tone up your muscle. When you laugh, everything exercises. And positive thinking is very important. If you think positively, Everything around you happens in positive manner. Hypothalamus gland is thought is a thought process. When you think positive, it sends a positive message to all your hormones, carries to the blood vessel, to the your thoracin, to other gland, and gives a positive message. The body to function in positive manner. That's what happens. A lot of people, what's the rule for good sleeping? How many hours do you sleep? What time do you go to bed? What time you get up? Some of us sleep more than eight hours, but they're still tired. Why is that? Without enough deep sleep, the body never recovers. Body has a, like a dynamo in your brain. When you sleep deep, when the blood flows through, it produces a spinal fluid, which goes through your spine, to different organ to promote overall health. Most adults require six to seven hours of sleep. Every morning you are born again and every night when you go to sleep, so why are you scared of death? Every morning you wake up, you rub your hand together and cover your face and energize. Deep sleep is very important for the body. Human body is a perfect machine, breaking the natural rule. If you break the natural rule, it creates a toxin in the body. Just give me a second, I need to get to the dog. He's, he's making a lot of noise for me. Come here, come on, please. No noise, please. You have to move. Go. Yes. 
Sorry about that. He's making so much squeaking noise with his toy. So really, human body is the perfect machine, but if you break the nature, law of nature, it creates toxins and creates disease. As Swami is teaching, we do the yoga, pranaya with mudra, asana, Ayurveda, acupuncture, naturopathy, and balanced living. Rules for healthy eating, follow the simple rule. You should eat at the same time each day. Do you live to eat or do you eat to live? That's what you have to be careful of. Try to make the midday meal the main. And always sit down to eat. Don't have the TV on, no distraction and talk about all the positive things. Get your best crystal light. Set the table up, tablecloth. Make every meal like it's the last meal. And try to chew the food properly. And try to drink, don't drink enough water during the meal. Try to eat half an hour, one hour after the meal, which is better for you. Because when you eat food, it goes in the stomach. When you drink water as well, the volume increases. That dilutes the hydrochloric acid or, or the, your bile's. So food takes longer to digest. So really don't drink water. If you want to drink water, drink hour before. Or drink hot water like a herbal tea, which is better for you. And try to cook little. I find that if you steam the vegetable, it's much more nutrients is preserved. Cooking destroys the vitamin and mineral from the food. Eat more food that grows on trees, not in the factories. Anything more than two items is processed. Avoid sweets, fried food, heavy items and certain things. Try to eat more natural food, which is much healthier for you. And then you have how the energy is transformed to human energy depends on entirely on how we process the food before we eat it. For example, nuts are very high in plant energy. If you eat it raw, we gain high level of energy. If you roast them, we lose large part of the energy. If you fry them, we lose all of it. And if you sprout them, we discover an anti-aging mantra. So sprouting is the best way to eat the foods. Food have vitamins, minerals, and enzyme. God created us complete. Our body has capacity to heal itself and regenerate. We have given away this capability. God's energy is everywhere. The strongest medicine is not the conventional pill, surgery, or alternative treatment, but the power of mind. What your mind thinks, body delivers. So you can heal your body through the mind as well. Very important. For your, all your health problems, the answer lies within you. All you need is a helping hand. We are here to help you to believe in yourself. Very important. We should give more importance to the prevention aspect of the science. Prevention is better than cure. Also, there's a spiritual healing. Spirituality is the way you find meaning, hope, comfort, inner peace. Many people find through religion, some through music, some through art, or connection with the nature, or your values or principles. No one really knows for sure. However, it seems the body, mind, and the soul all lead to spirituality. Health of any of these elements seem to affect the health of others. The positive belief is very important. So really, there is a certain lifestyle you have to do, tip for healthy living. Every morning when you wake up, I said to you, rub your hand together to cover your face, to put your body in passive state, do some power nuktasan to release any gas you create in the stomach, and then drink two to four glasses of lukewarm water if that's possible, which will help, and do some exercise, which will make you a good bowel movement. And then do some yogic kriyas. 
like you have you've you done a good bowel movement, you brush your teeth, then you do jalneti. Once a week you should do jalneti, other day you just trying to make sure you clean your needle passes. And then eye tonic, you, you throw full amount of water through cold water with your eyes. Also, once a week you should do the eye tonic, which contains amla, harad, veda, chandan powder, kapoor. You mix them together and you soak them in tea, half teaspoon in the water overnight. And then you filter it and you put that eye cup and put over your eyes and you blink on it. So you won't get any eye problem at all. Prevention. Another one is you sit in the chair once a week or once every couple of weeks if you have a liver problem. Drink water, three to four glass, lukewarm water, 40 degree temperature. And then you're bending it over the sink so water doesn't go any deeper, it stays here. And then you tickle your tongue and water comes out, you vomit. So all the pit from the liver comes out to make your body feel lighter. These are the techniques we use to do the thing with. And also when you, before you're having a shower, even Swamiji does that, you use the mustard oil to massage all over the body and sit in the sun if the sun's there or somewhere hot to kind of get the into joints, all the pain gives away. And always gargle with hot water with some salt in it, which helps to reduce any kapha dosa. And if you have a lot of constipation, you, we call it Ganesh Kriya. You take your finger, the biggest finger, middle finger, put some coconut oil or butter and put through your back passes. And that will help to move your bowel out. Also, you can do your exercise for your prostate. So prevents an prostate problem as well. And frequent people who have frequent urination because of prostate problem. And also, as I said to you, every night I put mustard oil in my nose. That's very good for cleaning your nose as well. All these things are lifestyle changes. And make sure you're drinking eight to 10 glass of water daily. Whatever your weight is, divide by 30. That's the, I'm just trying to summarize the whole thing. Nature is a hard task master. You obey her or suffer. So really, you have to go back to nature, very important. Now, I'll give you some tip for exceptional, superb, powerful life. Every morning, after you brush your teeth and that, go for a walk, at least for half an hour, before we do yoga. And if you, that itself will exercise you. Next, sit in the silence for 10 minutes. That itself is, calms the body down completely. And when you wake up in the morning, complete a sentence. My purpose is for today, what you want to achieve today. Don't just go blindly. Always have a purpose for something to do. And then you do yoga, pranayam, asan, meditation, at least for one hour every morning. They provide us the daily fuel for our busy life. Next one is very important. Spend more time with people over the age of 70, under the age of six. Why do you think is that? They give you less stress. They don't talk back. <laughs> they, they, kind of, they listen to you more. Eat more food that grows in trees, not in the factory, like green tea. Drink plenty of water, blueberries, broccoli, almonds, walnut, sesame seed, avocado, all these things are healthy. Every day you have to make three people smile. Let yourself be the first one. Very important. A lot of people, when I go yoga training, I go and live with people who organize the training in the different city. I've been all over the world, even in UK as well. When you open the cupboard, there's clutter everywhere. Try to declutter. Something you don't use it for three months, give it away. Somebody rubbish is somebody's gold. More clutter you have, it gives you more stress. And that's the biggest cause of your life. And don't waste your precious energy on gossip, issue of the past, negative thoughts, things you cannot control. 
Instead, invest your energy in positive present moment. That's what's happening just now with COVID-19. Every, every time you open the news, everything negative is coming out. That's not healthy for you. And you don't have to win every argument. Sometimes agree to disagree. Sometimes you fight your husband and wife because you're trying to paint the room. Wife says, I want a blue color. You want a pink. And you're arguing. I said, what the heck? Let it be blue and we can do the pink afterward. <laughs> Sometimes we argue for no reason. There's no reason for argument. Realize life is a school. You are here to learn, but the lesson you learn will last your lifetime. Life is too short. Waste time hitting people. Sometimes you hit people so much, it affects your present life as well. And don't take yourself too seriously. No one else does. Make peace with the past so you won't screw your present. And do not compare your life with others. You have no idea how difficult the journey has been. That's what I was saying to you. Sometimes people look at me and they say, yes, he might have got all these things, must be very happy and all that. But they don't, don't realize what, you, what I've gone through to get there and still what kind of stress internally I'm going through. Next one is very important. Think of every supper or dinner as the last supper. Burn the candle, get the nice tablecloth out, set the table away, because nobody knows what's tomorrow morning happen, going to happen, what's around the corner. Nobody knows that. So I make every day, but not just for not just for birthday anniversary, you get the all the tables set up, everything else. Make sure every day is special when the family is together. Very important. Forgive everyone for everything. Otherwise, you, you will harm more yourself than others. What other people think of you is none of your business. Time heals almost everything. Even like my father passed away 2005. That time, I'll tell you about my story. I believe in Paspati Nath. And that time, there was Durga Puja happening. I was going to sell, I looked at my a lawyer came in to look at all the assets from my dad. He, he had a whole bundle of files. He threw everything away, only took four or five seats. Then I said to myself, what the heck we are doing here? I'm working hard, running around, and after a person dies, all your work is three or four paper. So I decided to sell all my business. I put it in the market, and there was Durga Puja happening. It was the last day of Durga Puja. When I was doing the Puja, Suddenly, I, I was kind of, you can call it enlightenment or whatever. I felt the feeling. I was looking at my Paspati Nath Mandir. I was praying for. And suddenly, God told me, or I got a message saying to me somehow in my mind, no, I have something else for you. Purpose. I have got purpose job for you. Don't, you, you have to expand. You can't, you can't sell your business just now. And then after that, that's when I met Swami the year after. So what I'm saying, every... There's always a destiny if you believe in it. People take you to the path like me. Okay, I time heals almost everything and gives time, time, and time again. However good or bad the situation is, it, it will change. So stop complaining about the weather, your job, and so on. Next is very important. A lot of people say, I'm working hard to buy you a bigger car, bigger TV, and all that. And in the process, they forget to they lose the balance between the family life and the work. Work when they become ill, your boss will tell you, "I'll see you when you get better." Who look after you? Your family. So don't lose that that connection. Sometimes we work so hard all hours, we lose the balance. We think we're doing it good for the family. Yes, you are, but same time, there's got to be a happy media. You can't go complete one side and, and neglect your family. And when you need them, then you want them to be there. That doesn't happen. So your job won't, not, won't take care of you when you are sick, your family will. So don't forget that. Get rid of anything that, that isn't useful, beautiful, or joyful. Apart from your husband and wife, otherwise too many divorces will happen. <laughs> <I'm not kidding. laughs> 
No matter how you feel, get up, dress up. We are very important, especially people who are age. Sometimes we feel for, so feel sorry for ourselves that my grandson will come and visit me and blah, blah, and all that. They all are busy at all night. Every morning, get up, dress up, and plan to go to join the leisure club. Obviously, just now with COVID-19, you're struggling. But try to do things, plan your day. Don't just sit and feel sorry for yourself. You won't hurt. Nobody get hurt apart from yourself. You won't hurt yourself by any process. Always dress up, plan your day, do some cooking, do painting, listen to music, uh, work in the garden, grow some seed, tomato, whatever your, your hobbies are. All these will help you to promote good health. Remember, the life is not like a Disney one. You certainly do not want a fast ride. You want to enjoy the moment. Live for today. Like just now we are talking, so enjoy that moment. We keep planning for tomorrow. And we forget to enjoy the moment at the moment. Really very important. A rainbow is a smile upside down. Somebody sent me those emails. So I, was, I did that in all my training classes as well. I think these are somewhat quite a good kind of give you the life Staying, uh, give you. And now next chapter is body gives warning. Aches or pain, when you have aches or pain, that tells you you have congestion of CO2 or too much toxin in your body. The body is giving a lot of warning. Illness doesn't come automatically. It takes sometimes days, sometimes months, sometimes years before you get it. The body gives you a lot of warning. If you're running nose or sneezing, Body is trying to throw out the excess water, excess fluid in the body. Coughing, trying to clear your congestion in your throat or chest. Itching, slows down, so there is no enough blood coming to the surface. Itching makes the blood come to the surface and promote health. Twisting your body indicates tiredness, body needs rest. Pain in the heart, you need at least 24 hour bed rest. Headache, natural warning to giving your body a complete cleansing. If you're getting a lot of headache, that tells you you have too much toxin in your body. You're not moving your bowel properly. So you have to get detox and something like that. And obesity, as I talked about, that's what the class was about, is one of the highest chances of developing certain serious health problems, even, uh, even cancer. Obvious people, chance of cancer increases. So obviously, all you've, you've only been through, how do you know you are fat? Is by pinch test and also all these things we do. And then you have the, some of the things, so body mass index, I talked to you about, um, your weight in kilogram, height in meter square. If your weight was 65, height was 1.65, 1.65, then your BMI will be 24. If you're under 18, you're underweight, 18 to 25, you're good between 25 and 30 overweight, over 30, you're obese. And there's some of the recipe, which is also in the, this book as well. Cure for obesity is very good for diabetes as well. You 500 gram of wheat, 500 gram of rice, bajra, moong kadal, ajwain 20 gram, and white sesame seed 50 gram. Mix them together and make a dalia. That's very good for diabetes, for weight loss. Uh, sorry, Sarvanji, can you repeat that? What you said, it's, it's in the book as well. I'll put that on the on the on the yoga with Samba. It's 500 oh. grams of wheat, 500 grams of rice, 500 grams of bajra, 500 grams of mung dal, a split one, and 20 grams of wine and 50 grams of white thumb, sesame seed. Okay. Mix them together and make a dalia. I can guarantee. Usually what you should do what Swamiji sells mixed us dalia in India. You mix with a loki, uh, it's loki kadu dalo, it's a dalki banalo. A yeah. lot of a lot of spices, jira, dalki. It's very good for weight loss. Okay, thank you. Can you write it? Can you put this on this on your group for yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put it on your have some, no problem. Thank and you. Then you have a then you have a arugiata. We eat the wheat, wheat kata kane say lot of, don't do very good. You have to eat a lot of fiber. So add to that, you take one one kilogram of wheat. 100 grams of chana, 100 grams of soya beans, 100 grams of jawar, 100 grams of bajra, 100 grams of makai, 100 grams of barley, and 200 grams of singara. Singara is high in calcium. All this together will give you a very nutritious flour, 
mix a party with that and eat that's very good you, you can this day i think some of the companies start selling this mixed product anyway but you can make it yourself as well no problem if you have sinus problem boil four teaspoons of coriander in water and you inhale it that will clear your uh, nostril if you have loose motion cumin seed very important jeera jeera ko pani mein boil karke pani piye aur jeera kha lijiye which will help for any loose motion and one of the best thing you also is take the cold milk put a put squeeze a lemon into it and before it goes off drink it so when it goes off in the stomach it fills the stomach and clears all the bugs out of your stomach when you bowel movement and then you prevention of loose motion they are simple techniques they also give to people with piles just get your piles and go very good joint pain haldi methi salt haldi ginger powder and fenugreek mix them all together 100 g powder and take half teaspoon morning and evening the joint pain will go away also water retention a lot of female have problem with water retention your face swells up your your, your feet swells up that will go away as well and then you have detoxing drink like a ginger tea very good for bronchitis sinus sore throat and all that you take 1 g of liter of uh, one water 1 liter water put some ginger two pieces and you boil it and then add honey to the taste and put lemon juice and drink it very good for it and then methi i talked about fenugreek every night soak it in the morning you drink that water and eat the two days before it's sprouted methi very good for you very good for diabetes as well and then useful tip is also mustard oil put two drop in nevo cures your crackle people have crackle in winter and on navi mein aap mustard oil laga lijiye nahane ke baad you won't get crackle there is lot of things like that and then you have the a lot of people have crack heal as well in winter the best thing i used to do was take mustard oil 50 ml wax 25 g and kapoor 5 g garam karke mila lijiyega it becomes a jelly you put that in your thing your crack will go away completely for good for asthma cinnamon tea is very good love other things as well but i'm just doing something simple which you have in your kitchen you can make a tea with cinnamon powder and then add honey to the taste if you know diabetes and for anima lock is very good molasses gur roz roz aapko thoda gur kha le very healthy for you palak and carrot ka juice aloe vera giloi and so on all these are very so i talked about all the different thing there next is the green juice now green juice is a pure energy body requires energy to throw out the toxin it has all type of mineral required by the body and it can we can easily digest as well you can add down to like spinach methi celery lettuce cabbage green coriander pudina basil cucumber radish capsicum wheat grass is proud to see you etc etc and also on that you can add on to amla dry ginger when you make the juice also you take loki ka juice apple juice carrot juice and so on beetroot cucumber you know you probably know all those things i'm just trying to remind you again aloe aloe vera juice is very good for you amla juice is good as well a lot of vitamin c and so on purity of food leads to purity of mind find the balance between the enjoying the good food and good health very important the group of food are called super food because of high level of nutrients they contain not food none there is no food is contain all the nutrients so i said to you this morning as well how you mix your food together your menu for the whole week that's what creates the super food very important mm. group of super foods are in 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 the group of vegetable fruits nuts and seeds sprouted grains herbs and spices i just give you a few example one of the easiest way to boosting your intake of fiber vitamins minerals are the vegetable for example asparagus 
we give it to cancer patient as well. You should eat once a week asparagus, always. This source of folate, folic acid, beta carotene, which body converts into vitamin A, which prevents cancer, vitamin C, vitamin E, and very diuretic. It's mild laxative as well. So very good for, contains sulfur, which is very good for rheumatism arthritis, and also it, it prevents any damage to the artery, supplying blood to the heart and the brain, and also contains anti cancer busting antioxidant chemical. You see how important that is. Asparagus. So you should have asparagus once a week daily. Next is broccoli. Excellent source of vitamin C, beta carotene, vitamin A, iron, potassium, folate, vitamin K. Remember I talked about vitamin K? Very important. Iron, all these things. We give it again protection against cancer. It blocks the action for hormones that stimulate tumor. Your tumor grows without school, stop per time. Somebody has cancer, it can move to somewhere else as well. But if you eat broccoli on daily basis, that won't happen. That will stop to that. And also it contains a lot of fiber, which helps to aid digestion, prevents constipation, and very good for action for liver detoxification. It's a very good for cancer, cancer busting substance in broccoli. And then you have the fruit, pomegranate, superfood. Very good for liver, heart, your kidney, and tones of these function. Very good for treatment for fever, itching, bladder, kidney, kidney and bladder stone. And it contains all that. It's very good for eyesight and so on. And last fruit I will talk about is papaya. Excellent source of vitamin C, beta carotene. Also, aid digestion may help you to reduce bloating, discomfort that some people experience after large meal. You can also remember papaya ka bia bia kha sakte. Did you know that? Uska taste muli ka hota hai, like redis. If you eat them, you, usually what people do, you grind, dry them grind them and put the powder into the cooking you're doing yourself. That gets that very good for a stomach ache and a lot of hormone balance. And it's, it's a lot of right mineral into it. And papaya also promotes healthy skin, hair follicles and nails, growth. a lot of all the different minerals in them as well. That's all the fruit I'll talk about. Next is nuts and seeds. They contain all the minerals, fiber, high in unsaturated fat, like almonds, Brazil nut, pistachio nut, and so on. And then lastly, the sprouted grain. Once seed pulse are grains are sprouted, germinated, their 30% vitamin increases, and 60% of vitamin C increases just by sprouting it. With their alive sprout beans are high in plant enzymes as well. Good for B-complex vitamins, vitamin A, C, and E, and so on. Another good one, Indian people don't eat it, alfalfa seed. Very good, very good. We give it to cancer patients as well. You need to go to health farm and buy that alfalfa seed. You just soak them in small amount of water and, and take it daily. And then moong, you know, most people know about the bean, and moong anyway. Last but not least, I talked about well, that's the last chapter now. Herbs and spices. You know yourself, a lot of things you have with basil, fennel, very good for digestive, anything else, and any kind of blotting. That's why after food, you take, take some fennel. Basil is very good. Aloe vera, very good for arthritis, eczema. Aloe vera is called a cologne cleanser, cleanser cologne. If you take aloe vera juice every morning, but in cold weather, take in hot water. Because if we, if we take cold, it might give you arthritis, joint pain. So depending on the type of weather, if it's hot weather, then you can take it neat, no problem. Otherwise, you put in hot water slightly and then take it. Thank you. That's all the things I talked about. I was trying to summarize everything else. I'm sorry I might be gone in a bit too much. Maybe I'm sorry if I have. But I'm, I was trying to give, a, I've been working four hours on this, trying to put all the things together for you. I'm trying to give you a summary of what we've done then uh, then this if anybody we can mute yourself and with any question on that you know uh, anything you want to talk about 
We can do that. One at a time, please. If you just put your hand, just unmute yourself one person at a time, no problem. Yes, Sital Jain? So you just told us the papaya seed. I never tried, but uh, just to grind or just to eat? You can eat, eat the fresh. I eat them fresh yeah. sometimes. You oh. can't eat too much. Oh, it's, you like a, it's like a radish. You know, it's quite a taste. Why is Roman? Yeah. Taste. Yeah. Okay, no, no, so six boxes of chocolate. What's this? Oh, Mina Jika. What about the Irish mouse? Is this for who? Me? Prabhuji, please switch off the Mina Jika. Six boxes of chocolate. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Oh, I didn't make this. I didn't see you. Where is our poor Prabhuji? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Ah, Debu, Debu, you can unmute. Debu, yeah. Unmute. Yeah. Hello. Can Hello, you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Bully, Debu, yeah. What about chia, chia seeds? Chia. Chia seeds. Just the chia seeds. I take that. I take that every some once a week at least. I take it. Uh, it's got a lot of calcium, a lot of, and very very good for it. It goes to the stomach and expands, so it fills you, makes you less hungry as well. Thank you. Hansaji, can you say something? Oh, yeah. You know the Irish moss? Do you recommend that as well? What's that? Irish moss. I didn't follow you. I... Irish moss? It's like a seaweed. Yeah, yeah. Seaweed is same same as it's like if people grow seaweed for eating, it's got a lot of iodine, which is very good for thyroid problem. And also, it's very good for people with cancer. We give the seaweed, you know. That's why. People with chemotherapy, we, we feed them seaweed, so you, you get less effect of seaweed, uh, chemotherapy. When they get chemo, then the, that's why you find China and all these countries, after chemotherapy, because of radioactive, they eat more uh, seaweed, more of, more, more of it. Sarvanji. Thank you. Hold on, Jayshree. Should you poke um, your seeds, like pumpkin seed or other seeds, overnight? Uh, and, and nuts. So no, for pumpkin seed, you have to take the skin off, obviously, you know. But, so I buy the ready-made dry one. I buy the dry seeds so I can peel them in my mouth and eat them like that, you know. No, no, because they're already in you know, the pumpkin seed. You just, uh, do you soak them? Sometimes people say you No, no, soak I, eat them. Them. no like, I eat them like that, just the thing, you know. I just grind them, put them in the soup or salad or rice. I eat them like that. Okay. So, uh, what oil should we use? Like for cooking normally, what oil? Olive oil? I would say you should use more coconut oil. Coconut oil. Or, or, or also you should use the, uh, what do you call the Aussie oil, which is not, not the, not the machine one, natural one. And also olive oil, which is a uh, virgin olive oil, which is not pressed, kind of, you know, with will full press. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, can I ask a question? Yes. Yes, Jesse. Uh, I want to ask about uh, uh, isab gold, psyllium husk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they say it's good for um, digestion. What? It's good for um, clearing your stomach. It's a constipation. People with constipation <laughs> give that, yeah. How often? Well, I, I didn't get that. How, how often? You shouldn't take, should, should take it for a long period, otherwise damage your interest alone. You should take it all a week or two weeks and then leave it for a couple of weeks, three weeks, then take it like that. If you take it all the time, then you damage your, your power of contracting in your intestine. Yeah. Okay. So you're damaging your body. So that's right. Okay. Okay, thank you. Money, money. Oh hello, Sarwanji. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh, Sarwanji. Oh. Ask you about the uh, you know boiling the coriander seeds for your uh -huh. for, for sinuses. Um, how do you, how do we do that? You just boil, boil you, you a... boil the seed and then it's obviously just filter and when, when it goes slightly less volume, it's huh? it's it peeling up. Oh, okay. So then you put it in the bowl and you do it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's it. Simple. Oh, okay, yeah. Or mint, 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 Okay, next is Banu. Yes, Om Shravanji. Om, Om Banu, Om Banu. Uh, uh, uric acid. 
Can you okay. explain more about uric acid? And somebody is having a problem on the heels, yeah. and it's been sent due to the due no, to but, the but, uric acid. But if the problem is the heel is different, heel is not the uric yeah. acid. You go to the toes first. That's right. What happens every time you eat food? Body produces uric acid, but the kidney's job is to filter the uric acid out of your body. But if it can't cope with it, then the uric acid flows in the blood and goes to the furthest part of the body on your toes, and 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 that's why it deposits at the joint, and that crystallizes, which is very painful, and that's called condition is called gout. So really, you have to eat less food which produces uric acid. Purin. And and the person who's got heel pain. Heel pain usually, if it's a male, it's a prostate problem. If it's a female, usually uterus fibrosis. Mm -hmm. Fibroid. Is it acid, uh, uric acid, and when you compare the acid in the body, acidity uh, and all this? No, no, but uric acid, you just you Google it and find all the food contains uric acid. You have to eat less yeah. of them. That's yes. how simple is that. Okay. So Thanks. It's, it should be the control the diet. That's it. That's, yeah. it. that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Next is Raj. Unmute yourself. You, how do you dissolve blood clots naturally? But obviously, a lot of food does that automatically, and also certain in creating a. Remember, I talked about one thousand. I talked in the class before. Take ten thousand units of vitamin D three, and hundred microgram of K two. If you mix the two together, it takes a plaque or any calcium deposit from the heart, your artery out, and goes to the bone. The skeleton makes it stronger. So D three and K two, K two, K two, K K for kite. Okay. Sorry, Sorry I can get that. Catch. K K K two K. K two. K for cucumber. Cucumber. No, K no, for, that's C. K. K for kite. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. That's a good one. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Yeah. Okay. Thank that's, you. That's very useful. That's very useful. If you do that, uh, that's what I've been telling my class people to do that. Even especially if people are our age, we have to. I'm, I'm taking 10,000 units of kit, uh, D3 and K200 microgram. Okay. All right. Super. Thank you. And also, obviously, producing nitric oxide, which we're doing exercise every day anyway. Mm -hmm. Because and don't use don't use mouthwash. I keep saying to you, mouthwash kills the bacteria, which yes, mixed with nitrite to make nitric oxide. So use tongue cleaner to, to clean the tongue, not the mouthwash. Okay, thank you. So did you hope hope you all enjoyed the class? Didn't Very you nice. Get back? Didn't get fed up, didn't fall asleep. <laughs> oh, wide right awake. Very interesting. Informative, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much. It was very good. Anybody it else? Want to talk to you? Lina is asking. Okay, Lina Ji. Lina is asking burning feet at night. Burning feet. Lina is, is asking. Yeah, yeah. That's because of you must be working in computer, are you? What kind of work you do, Lina Ji? No, no, not not in the computer. No. What kind of work? Up here, but at the moment, it's it's a housewife working around in the house. No, before, pehle kya karte the? Pehle ya computer me to the. Ha, to usi ka apne no problem. It's no problem. It's a that's why it gives you burning sensation in your feet in the morning when you get up, and also like frozen shoulder, neck pain, so, yeah. dementia, loss, a short term memory loss, gusta bo taiga, throat infection, eyes me pakan me sunai kam padega, ringing bell hoga, haathon me jinjana to tiyo bhi kar gaye. It's corporal tunnel, tennis. It's all symptom. Pero me cramp ana. It's all usi ka computer ka sare. Posture ka. This is because you work in the posture is not right. That happens to orthopedic consultant, dentist, people who work over the patient hours after after, or even people working in factory, factory. like like doing piece work. That will do the same thing as well. Okay. So really, uske liye jo gun hai, apka gun hai kya? Gun se aap yahan karenge, thik ho jayega. Yes. क्या हो रहा है की आपके बॉडी में सर्कुलेशन इनफ नहीं है तभी तो हम बोलते हैं जैसे 
हमने किसी यंग पर्सन का हाथ पकड़ते हैं बस शीतल का हाथ मिलाएंगे तो वो हमसे यंग है तो उनका हाथ गर्म रहना चाहिए यदि ठंडा है तो इसके में उनका सर्कुलेशन प्रॉब्लम है तो आई कैन डायग्नोज लॉर्ड ऑफ एलनेस जस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट द आईज लुकिंग एट द नील्स बैक एट द नील पर लड़की लोग तो नील वार्निश कर लेके पता चलता ही नील एनर्जी you have to not pumping muscles are weaker that's why swami ji gives a arjun ka chhal arjun ka chhal ka chai bana ke piyoge to lot heart ka muscle is strong ho jata hai so it pumps better okay it's All like right. everything ka ilaj hai naturopathy mein ayurveda mein okay All right thank you arjun ka chhal aaj arjun arjun ka chhal jang arjun ka uska the bark of the arjun they make a tea of that Okay, that's okay. That's how, I suppose that's the pain with Patanjali shop, yeah. Yeah, you can. Okay. I, I think. Yeah, I think. Ask for of, Arjun Chal. If you ask for Arjun Chal, a lot of other people do that as well. Arjun Chal. Okay. Also, if you buy the Mukta Bati, that contains Arjun Chal. So, I mean, the tablet that comes, it is already found. Mukta Bati. Mukta Bati. Good for blood pressure. No, Hrda Yamari. Hrda Yamari. That's the booking that I have. That's right. Right. That's it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. And, and, and so one much. thing is, I'm going to let the weight loss ka class every month. I'm carrying it. That's okay. Yes. 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 floor the people are not sitting in the right posture from the hip your knee must be the down not the up yeah so yeah yeah just keep no 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 i'm saying what tell it i was thinking we're talking about asthma might be oh. yeah lot of the lung lung yeah. you know like covid 19 may lung ka problem so be going na usme thoda sa baat karna better rahega and make sure please join tomorrow evening as well and sunday morning is the chair yoga you have to sit in the chair to do the all the yoga for to don't make anybody feel un on you know every welcome to you so thank you very much and oh, Sarwanji, i have evening. a request for hot yes. tomorrow night sarvanji i have a request tomorrow night to only Appa, class hai apa hold on apa speaking yeah tomorrow sir sorry hold on okay speak yeah uh, i wanted to ask sarvanji um if he could provide a 10 day diet meal plan Like he's going to do exercise. If we could combine that, yeah, that, we will open a restaurant. You ask me impossible. Open a restaurant for me. <laughs> I can, I'll show you. I can help you prepare in a table format. If you want me to put it in a document, I can do that for you. Uh, the you one, can, one thing is, all you have to do is like a, everybody tastes it. Like a, you can't have the same menu for everybody. I have a Wagyu dosa. You might have a pita dosa. Somebody else might have a kapha dosa, so everybody's food will be different. So yes, really, sir. all we can suggest certain food. People have to do it themselves. If you look at the book, that's got all the different food with different why you pita kapha stronger. And then, hey, let me see where it is. South America, India, right now, um, you see parts of Asia like Thailand. It is all the why you pita kapha. All the food contained, so you can make a food for yourself from that. Okay. So you see, if you have kapha dosa, you eat food which reduces kapha and increases pita. Okay. And vice versa. So you have to balance the whole thing eh, to to make your body healthy kind of idea. Okay. It's like a, why you pita kapha is catabolism, anabolism, metabolism. Kar -kar that's happening the body all the time. So you have to have the all three balance. If it's out of balance, that's when you have diseases. Okay. So by like a yogurt, if you take yogurt in the if you have kapha dosa, if you take yogurt in the evening. You will have sore throat in the morning. You have a lot of coughing, the mucus in the body, which okay. is not good for people. People out of breath, asthmatic, sinus problem, and so on. So really, and, and and so you have to plan yourself 
So something good for me might be, because I'm, I'm Vayu Dosa, I can eat yogurt in the evening, but for you might be kapha, if you eat it, you will have problem. So really, you can't make a fixed menu in a sense. It's difficult. Okay. Okay. Understand. Thank you. Oh. It's very stressful. If you if somebody gives you a list of items to eat, <laughs> it's very, very stressful. It causes more you, stress. No. You should be happy <laughs> with what you eat. I, I didn't I didn't mean one thing only. I just it was like, you know, three choices for lunch and breakfast. It's just for somebody no, like no, me, Baba, I, not... I, I, idea is to only have one hot meal a day, proper meal, evening. Because what okay. morning should be yogurt with fruits and something, a lot of protein, which digests quicker. And afternoon, my salad, your soup, your some tomato soup, or yeah, 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 your pumpkin soup, or yeah, anything, something very light with okay. black pepper, like a salad and things like that. Evening should be a couple of chapati, but a lot of vegetables. Right. So that is self is a. And, and any one or two detox herbs. Like which are which are okay for every any every tendency. herb every herb in the kitchen has a medicine value. हम लोग खाने लगे हैं उसका क्या फायदा बुला गए? No, no, like like whether it is trifla or herde, anything yeah, yeah. like that that we can follow irrespective of our body type. Is there? Yeah, any yeah, such? that's it. Trifla is three dosa. Then what dosa you have? If you take trifla one teaspoon daily, it will promote good health. Even why you pita and kapha, all three. Okay. It's it's and like a. Huh? Where to buy it from? Like Trifla Churn, if I want to buy. Anywhere, any grocery. Any, a lot of any shop will have them as well. They okay. might be different Several, brands, doesn't matter. Lots of brands. Okay. And in, in India, what they used to do was they used to buy the fresh amla, harder than beta, and grind them and mix the powder. That's what they used huh. to make them. If, that, if, if, if you went to India, house, if went to India house, house, 100, 100 years ago, everybody, every, every house had the Trifla powder. Daddy will give you one teaspoon just for any illness at all. Sarvanji, uh, you know this uh, electric pen, could uh -huh. you just uh, like, you know, give us a little demonstration, like, you know, a session, a small session on different points, because it's like so much information and, you know, just common One thing again, depending on what yeah, element you are. It's all on YouTube. YouTube, we've done a video. We've done a session, it's all on but aapko kya problem hai, usko depend karta hai. Then everybody's got to face a point different way, not depending on what health issue you have. Then I can, okay. I can do it. I can show you if you if you want to do it, we can talk to you on WhatsApp face to face, FaceTime. Then I can show you what to do with it. Once you let me know what your issues are, where you where you need help with. Okay, thank you. So really, thank you very much for thank lovely you. support of 10 days. And tomorrow, okay. please tell me, Jackie, if somebody, obviously, it's not about losing weight. That was just a, a kind of gimmick to make you feel better. That's all. That's all the whole purpose of weight loss exercise was. So I've lost about three kilo, and I'm stuck at three kilo. I haven't done any much more than that. And my target was five kilo. By that's then. good. That's good. I know. I give that's myself a pat on the back. You know? Yes. Okay, Three kgs bye -bye. in 10 days is very good. Thank, yeah. Thank, oh. Thank you very much, Ravanji. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. Thank 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 you. Thank